so in that room with the Zengali, we had these unique tweaks that I had never seen before. These were on the transformers, and then you had a smaller one that was on the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Right. And this is Victor, the inventor of the product, Victor. Um, can you tell me, as you were explaining to me earlier, a little bit more about these things? Sure, absolutely. These rings actually accentuate and cancel certain EMF uh, fields when it's placed on the transformer, actually. You could use it on amplifiers, free amplifiers, uh, CD players, uh, streaming devices, and also turntable power supplies. So those are a couple of the applications, and also it could be used in certain type of uh, circuit breaker boxes as well. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And so, then, okay, go ahead. So in improvements, what you actually hear is it removes harshness in the music, and while it's removing harshness, it gives you more weight and, and bloom and richness in the mid-range while giving you higher resolution um, throughout the bandwidth, basically. From bass, mid-range to highs, it gives you a lot of resolution while being smooth and removing harshness at the same time. Interesting. And then you were telling me about the R&D that you did. You had to work with different gauges and oh, different... Yes, you know. I had to work with different... Um, thicknesses, different thicknesses of copper, different grades of copper, okay. as well as different length. Okay. Because certain length will actually do different things on the fields. Okay. So how to, how to perfect the length actually made the biggest difference and uh, largest improvement. Okay. And then this one's a little bit different, just a circular one. This is, you call this depth? Uh, yeah, it's called it's... a depth ring. And actually, when you put it in the system, you can act you can actually get a deeper sound stage with deeper and wider sound stage with with uh, more atmosphere in the music. Okay, so this would go on top the component as a in yes, general, it, yeah. it could go on uh, use it on preamplifiers, CD players, and a couple of different things in the house that would actually. And these help. are mainly for power supplies. These are mainly for power supplies. Okay, for various components. Yeah, so I've never seen this before. This is unique, and uh, so I wanted to just feature it and get a little more information behind it. And who knows, maybe we'll try some of these and uh, down in Houston soon. So thank you, Victor, for the uh, information, and I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. That'd be great. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. They're doing strictly tape. It's the only source, huh? Are those Townsend Super Tweeters on there? These speakers, these must be the ones that he got from Philip. He didn't have speakers. No, sure. Is this the big hard bed? No, it's something that's similar to hard bed. Okay. The ones that Philip got. It's a, I think it's a, a DECA tweeter. I can't so, try to uh, remember. Let me see if I can get it. Take pictures now. Graham audio. Um, main speakers. Okay. This is like LS58. What's the super tweeter? That's a Townsend super tweeter crossing at the super high. Like really high. 15 or 18,000 Okay. It's a kind of interesting color, the copper face plate. It's nice. Mm -hmm. This, this you know, guy apparently does all of the electronics. He's like a one, you know, one man okay. show in that regard. Does everything top I believe so. I don't know. Except all the for details. the tape, yeah. Well, yeah. But amp preamp certainly. And, uh, so I don't know what else. that thing is on the second rack. It looks like his only source is tape, huh? Oh, cool.